We have in our cultures today quite commonly the notion of after death there will be purgatory, will be questioned, whatever, and you may be punished by hell or whatever, terrible times, suffering, or by ease, comfort, whatever, of paradise and joy. Both of these experiences have been practiced on earth. There had often been situations for each one of us that we felt this is terrible, agony, pain, maybe physical, maybe emotional, maybe in every other way. Or this is wonderful, joyful, one, I feel as though I am in paradise. So there are these two extremes of immense suffering or wonderment of joy and bliss. So at the moment we are in between heavens and earth, absolute, timeless, eternal, and that which is ever-changing and time. So when I lose the notion of space and time and movement with death, I enter into another zone of consciousness, which is higher, subtler, in which I have no say or ability to act, change, or do anything about. It's the result of this stage in life on earth. So, because I'm practicing better life, better quality, better experience, more joyful, more helpful, more, ho more hopeful, therefore, obviously, I hope and pray that my next experience after that will be even better. The issue of hope is that, that tomorrow will be better for you than now. So therefore I sacrifice, I do my best, I have patience, I have to take all the virtues, be generous, be correct, be kind, be accountable, apologize, what, what, what? In the hope that my experiences in this zone will improve, improve, improve until I'm at the edge or at the door of paradise or in it. That's all what it is. So it's a preparation for another phase of consciousness in which I have no will. There is no me as such. It's only my soul, which has already gained the exposures to all kinds of otherworldly things and is now without the incumbencies of a body and a mind. So the notion of hell or paradise are very deep in us. We have all tasted small hells, a small paradise and so on. But what comes later, later is in another zone of consciousness. So what we allude to is only a, a semblance of it. It's not the same. Because there is no interference, no body, no others. It has its own course. My job or path is to do my utmost to act simply in proxy of the author of God. Otherwise, I will regret it. Otherwise, I'll make mistakes. Otherwise, so I have no authority independent of the authority. So all of these ideas, religious, if you like, teachings, is to enable me to be tuned to the ultimate authority, which will prevail anyway. So the, why should I subject myself to suffering and so on, whilst I can now train to listen to destiny, what is intended. The ultimate intention is for me not to act against nature, not to get, act against that which is coming anyway, against God's will. So that's what will come about after death.